What's up guys, Miles here with 905 Mac, and we all know that the LG UltraFine displays are some of the best out there for someone looking for a high-end Mac display, but if you're someone looking for something a little bit more tailored for graphic design or video editing, then this might be something you wanna check out. This is the PD2720U from the folks over at BenQ, and it's a 27 inch 4K UHD IPS Thunderbolt display, and it's quite simply really good. And there are a bunch of reasons I've come up with that opinion, but first let's get all the specs out of the way. It's got a 10 bit IPS panel with a five millisecond response time, a max refresh rate of 60 Hertz, and then a maximum brightness of 350 nits. It's got support for 100% of the sRGB, Adobe RGB, and Rec. 709 color gamuts, as well as support for up to 96% of the DCI P3 color gamut. It's also got HDR10 compatibility and is driven by BenQ's AQ color technology. And in case you couldn't already tell, this is a matte display. And all the other nitty gritty specs can be found on BenQ's product page on their website. So starting off with the design of this monitor, it's nothing crazy by any means. It's got a pretty minimal and ignorable design, quite honestly. Uh, it's got a thin bezel frame with a chin at the bottom, which is fine, but I would have preferred for it to have no chin like the 32 inch version of this monitor, which I should also be reviewing pretty soon. The monitor is on the thicker side, but that's because the monitor actually has an internal power supply. Uh, so you don't have to have a huge brick power cable like a lot of the other monitors have. And comparing the build quality to something like the Ultrafine 5K, it's kind of night and day. Uh, the design concept is pretty much the same where you have a rectangular base and then a circular stand that you can raise. Uh, but you can clearly see and feel that on the BenQ it's metal and not plastic like on the Ultrafine. And this doesn't really matter as much for a monitor because it's not gonna be something you're like holding all the time, but I definitely won't say no to a more premium build. As far as port selection goes, you've got two USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, two HDMI 2.0 ports, a DisplayPort 1.4 input, two USB-A 3.1 Gen 2 ports, a USB Type-B 3.1 Gen 2 port, and then a 3.5 millimeter port for headphones and speakers. For me, that port versatility is pretty important because I can easily hook up my USB 3 hub, speakers, uh, mouse and keyboard, dongles, the list goes on. And of course, having Thunderbolt 3, you can easily daisy chain these bad boys, which is something I plan on demonstrating for the 32 inch version review. And in addition to that, using Thunderbolt 3, you can hook up something like a MacBook Air and get up to 65 watts of power delivery. So you can just plug this in with one cable, charge it and run the display as well, which is pretty cool. This monitor has three specific modes for different workflow scenarios. Firstly, you've got darkroom mode, which essentially drops the brightness and adjusts the contrast for when you're working within a really dark environment. Next, you've got animation mode, which allows the display to significantly boost shadows without blowing out the highlights. And this is specifically made for animators who are working with very intricate details within darker images. Then lastly, you've got CAD mode, which enhances the contrast for lines and shapes and sharpness for people working within CAD who need the most detail possible. And you can easily switch between these three modes using the included hockey puck. It's got three custom function keys, so you can choose what key does what. For people working within multiple workflows, this is definitely something that can come in handy. As far as my personal usage goes, like I said, I really like this display and I'm coming from a 35 inch curved ultra wide from BenQ that I also really like, but this display is definitely a few steps ahead. It's tack sharp, it's very bright and colors just pop and they're also really, really accurate. And that's all due to the fact that every one of these monitors is pre-calibrated out of the box, which is, it's blessed. My only problem with the monitor thus far is that by default, it doesn't allow for USB power delivery when the display is asleep. So let's say for example, you're exporting a video uh, using a scratch disc that's connected directly to the monitor. As soon as that display falls asleep, if you leave it idle for a little while, that disc is gonna be ejected, which is not good, but you can easily re-enable this in the settings in the monitor. So good thinking BenQ. So overall, I really like using this BenQ as a productivity monitor. And in my book, it's the best alternative to the Ultrafine 5K if you're looking for a 27 inch display. That rhymed. But that's about it. There will be a link in the description down below where you can check this guy out if you wanna learn more, or possibly pick one up. But that pretty much does it for this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for future content like this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.